Hi everyone! Hello! We're doing another slow cooker Sunday. This one's gonna be really fun and super kid friendly, I feel like. Yeah, I think so. So I'm kind of just making this up because like if you haven't watched our videos, we're doing keto and I'm always trying to like come up with something interesting that doesn't kick us off our keto diet. So today we're making pizza chicken. What is pizza chicken? What is pizza right? chicken? All right, so this is gonna be the gist of it. I'm using my long crock pot. I'm putting chicken in there. We get the ragu simply because it's keto friendly. And you can kind of like get creative with this. You don't have to do exactly what we're doing, but just think of pizza toppings that you and your family really enjoy. So we're gonna do like the chicken in the sauce and we're gonna put pepperoni and mushrooms in there. I'm gonna add a little more seasoning and then later after it's cooked really well, we're gonna top it with some cheese and let that melt. But that's like just the two toppings we're choosing, but feel free to do whatever. You can what load it up, whatever yeah, you want. You could do like a meat lovers, a veggie, just whatever your family really enjoys, I would say to get creative with it. Yeah. So we have our chicken breast just diced up here. So we're gonna get that in. Now I have my crock pot on high because we're not starting this, it's 12.30 right now. So if you were starting this earlier in the morning, obviously you could just put it on low. But um, the reason I'm not putting the melty cheese on yet is because I want to be able to get in there and keep stirring this and checking on it throughout the next couple hours. I'm probably not going to put the cheese on until I would say, what, 30 minutes before? Yeah, before you're ready to serve it. About 30 minutes before I'll get that cheese on there. How much sauce should we do? Uh, I don't know. How much is left in the jar? I would just use the whole jar. Oh yeah, it's barely any in there. All right. So we're just like creating this as we go. So we will keep track of our measurements for things. Before I put my pepperoni and mushrooms in there, I'm just gonna go ahead and give like a nice sprinkle of my seasoning. So I'm throwing like, I can't make something with just the plain sauce no. that comes in the jar. We always have to add. <clears throat> so I'm gonna throw some garlic powder in there. Woo! <laughs> I don't measure anything. So like, I don't know. <laughs> That's about mm, a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. Yeah, I don't know. I don't measure. So like, I don't know if you guys are the type of people that like measure, but I just like sprinkle until my soul tells me to stop. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. Like, I just keep going until, like, this little voice inside is like, yeah, that's good. <laughs> so basil, oregano, and garlic powder, just in addition to my sauce. I mean, I wanted to, I want to make sure you taste, like, some flavor in there like you would if it were pizza. So I'm going to continue to dump everything in. So our pepperoni, Steve took it and just quartered it so it wasn't big pepperoni chunks. That way it would distribute a little more easily and... I just have like the little can of the mushrooms. Mommy, mommy, um, are you making my pizza? Pizza chicken. I am just leaving them as is. I drained them. That's all I did. I'm just leaving the chunks as is just to make it simple. I'm gonna go ahead and just mix everything around. And then I'm gonna put a lid on it. I, I said earlier it's on high. I'm not gonna come back and check this for like at least an hour to see what it's doing, but you know. We're just gonna stir it up and let her go. All right, so it's been about four hours since we started. Um, I had it on high, I switched it to low, like probably two hours ago because the chicken looked like it was cooked and it was like boiling. So if you wanna zoom in and show them what it's looking like before I top with cheese. First of all, it smells super good. Steve tried it, he said it tastes great. I made him try it and see if I need to add any more seasonings. So we're planning on eating in about a half hour. I'm gonna go ahead and just put mozzarella cheese on top and put the lid back on and just let the cheese melt. 